starting on the pole, the Dole Man, Chad Dole Russell. And the 26, Larry Phillips in the LNK small engine repair number 04. A new gear, he finally caved in on the gear. Third place is Russell Hockey, Jeff Petro, George Russell, Randy, the Randy Man, Bob Andy Platt. Oh, and uh, who is it right off the bat? I think that is Ross Hockey already. Blows a chain off of the Hockey Racing Double O. But as I was saying, behind Randy Man, Bob Andy Platt, is Melissa Stevens, Tim Galetta, Matt Stevens. Oh, excuse me, uh, Gary Miller is starting behind Tim Galetta. Then Matt Stevens and Chris Stevens, even though Tim and Matt have three wins apiece. We are going by points per race. And, uh, but we are letting Matt and Chris are letting Gary have some driver courtesy. Oh, boy. And uh, right off the bat, Tito. Gets outside of Lumberjack, Larry Phillips. Larry now way down low. He won't be doing much down there. And free flex. And uh, everyone's going to get him now. Look at this, Randy looks underneath Shadow, Petro wants to get by him both on the outside, and Randy now gets underneath Shadow, what a move by Bob Andy, Petro looks over Shadow, can't get around him, Shadow getting back into a rhythm, and now Randy is gone. Gary Miller. Matt getting a little tap in the wheel by Chris. See, Matt, Chris giving Matt some his own medicine. Matt used to do that to Chris for years. Sam's going to get that to him once they're right there. Ooh, look at this. Sam looking down low underneath Melissa. We are all so close here. One mistake. One error in judgment. One little slip can get you past easily.
is like look at all the room that Chris lost just trying it once. No grip down there at all. Any slingshot will immediately lose you several feet. Oh, oh boy, look at this. Gary Miller is pissed off now. George Russell got into him and they're yipping and yapping back and forth. Almost a repeat of the Oswego Speedway with people boxing with their racing helmets on. We got Gary Miller pulling it into the pits. And when doesn't Gary Miller pull into the pits is usually only when he's in the lead. Gary and Larry. They have both given up. Bo Bandy here has been working tirelessly on that cart for probably over a month, working on the handling, trying to get it ready. Bob Andy pushed Shadow away on that restart. Very cruel trick by Randy. He took the F off. And Matt and Chris. Very close. Ooh, Jimmy almost got outside of Melissa there. Pulling away from third place, Melissa. up in the back straight Matt is able to get around him one mistake is all it takes to lose a position here we are so close he got a little loose in the back straight and he just lost a lot of speed Matt and almost Chris were able to get him too but he was able to get back in line and get back up to speed Chris now keeps showing him a wheel but speeds are very close out there
and he is so fast he is out of the picture. A dominant force, the Ram Man. That car has given him fits for weeks now and he looks like he has solved the bugs, gremlins, or whatever the case may be with that number 187. As he is gone, Saddle can't keep up with him. Matt now showing a wheel to Melissa. Chris is waving, he sees the caution right in the tower. I believe it was George Russell, or maybe Lap 27 out of 45. That was a somewhat better start there. Randy again getting huge jumps on these starts. He is taking off. On Shadow, and no one can make a move on Shadow. Russell Hockey brought out the Boston and the Gary Miller number 24. Which is down a lap, maybe. Lap or two. And uh, at the same time, the chain in a caution, the chain come off the eight. So this has entered the four. Once again, you change the car, you get a 5 1 penalty. At least for a regular season, right? So it would be more of the classic. Shadow has slowed up tremendously. I don't know what happened to Shadow. If he decided to slow up or the car slowed up, I do not know what, but he was running a strong second for most of the race, and now he has lost a lot of room. This move to Melissa in the second, and Matt into the crucial top three position is where you get bonus points every lap in those top three. Helps out Matt tremendously in the point. So Chris barely edged him. Took a small lead from last weekend's event. This will help Matt get back up in the first possibly. Starting to bog at this point of the race. Meanwhile, Melissa's going away from Matt. Randy is handling the rest of the field here. Got at least a half straight or more lead on second place. A 
caution. Another caution for Russell Hockey and the Gary Miller Racing number 24. Five laps to go according to Wesley James Droger Stevens. As the race started. It's funny we some weeks we have three, four people wanting to be flagger, and then some weeks there's not. close by. He is not pulling on her as easily as he was pulling on Doughboy Fresh. He's right with him now. Matt now looking, putting the wheel under. That opened up a, a lane for Tim Galetta, but Tim was not able to capitalize. Tucker flag for Randy Pope. Randy Black. His second career feature win. The Bambi killer himself. Well, the turkey killer. Chris Stevens tries to take that checker. Nothing doing, and Bob Andy, man, will take it. His first career win in his own murder 187 number car. His first career win come in the Galetta's Greenhouse number two. Same motor though. He put his own motor on the two now, it's not his own car. The car's been covered in mud. Apparently the mud has worked as good arrow. 